Now, if I were playing against like a tournament squad or something like that, I would definitely be running like a harder. You know, I'd be running like pop oppression corrupt or something like that. But the average solo queue experience, I don't lose this pyramid head, so I can run whatever I want. Yeah. You know? YouTube, what is up, everybody? Hey, hey, you awake in there? It's good to see you. We have another gameplay video for you today from our Twitch stream. Today's gameplay video isn't anything too crazy, but I haven't put up a Pyramid Head video in a long time. If you didn't know me, uh, my favorite killer is Pyramid Head, and he's somebody that I pride myself on being pretty good at uh, when it comes to prediction and playing against people and things like that. So we've gotten some games in, and we got some good prediction hits on this one. I think, I don't know, it feels pretty good. It was a good match. It was a fun match. Uh, we don't really run many slowdowns. I think we only run Corrupt Intervention on 90% of the Pyramid Head games we play. And I think that's what makes some of this play uh, so fun and interesting to watch, right? Where to put pressure and how. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, hey, give it that thumbs up. You know, let the algorithm know that you enjoyed the video so it keeps pumping it out to other people. Of course, leave a comment down below if you have any requests for any killers for me to play or join us on Twitch. Some sunshine today. All right, try to get some water with your coffee or energy drink. All right, and I will be praying to the entity to see you guys in the next video. It's a little extra soft lighting on the side. Father Campbell's Chapel, super fun map. I think Pyramid Head is underrated. A lot of people think of him as a B or an A. Um. Yeah, the only reason I don't think of him as S is because the only killers that are S tier for me are Spirit and Nurse. And it's because they have just complete superior mobility. No. So, Corrupt Intervention was this direction. Yep, so we... I feel like I'm zooming right now. It feels so fast. Pyramid Head movement bug. I don't what makes me think he gives amazing hugs are they like death grip hugs I don't know why she I have questions That was a good hit. That was a really good hit. Oh, she did run that way. Adding head on command. <laughs> she didn't try to move at all. W gamer for life. W gamer for life. Is basement back here? I can't make that though. Maybe I can. She messed up her head on big time. I, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it was definitely a weird, it's weird to try to head on a killer that watched you go in the locker. You know what I mean? Like if killers see you go in the locker, they have the advantage. Like getting that head on is treacherous. You know, it's a, it's a tough spot to like try to put yourself in. Somebody was here. Did they, do you think they ran away? I don't think so. Middle gen's not the biggest deal here. It's definitely not the best one to lose, but it's, you know, it's, I, I could work around it. Definitely just dipped out. She's sporadic. She'll be she'll be fun. Let's chase her. Mm, just kidding. Oh, somebody else is here. So she's like, oh shit. I'm not gonna tunnel. Halo D sat on there for a long time. I caught it. Just 99 to sprint burst. Good stuff. She 99 it after an unhook? That's pretty lit right there. That's pretty lit. You gotta give it to survivors when they pull stuff off like that. 
That's pretty crazy. To be fair, I don't watch much DVD. That's fair. What is the perk that lets you see windows and pallets in yellow? Zenshin Tactics? I don't think it's a particularly great perk, but Pyramid Head, it makes sense, right? In the event that you can't, like, I don't, I, I could run, like, triple slowdowns and stuff on Pyramid Head, but I don't. I really only need corrupt intervention, so when I'm playing Pyramid Head, I frequently just kind of... She double-backed into it. Whoa! That dead heart! She, like, fucking launched. She took off. Meow. Being chased or chasing near this hook is really good. I think she went across the bridge. She did, yeah. Right, what gens do we have left that we need to focus? There's, yeah. Eh. Let's see. Oh, that's the ALOD. What the fuck? Why'd she go out there? Yeah, we have to get a kill, like, ASAP, so this is the girl. New skill to see those pesky pallets. Uh, I mean, it's not... It's definitely not new to the game. I don't... Most killers don't need it. The reason I don't really like the perk much is because... I think you should be learning map knowledge as you play the game, instead of like requiring a perk like this. But if you're new to the game, Zenshin's a good perk. Yeah. You died of carnival music? Nice aim, thanks. I, I let Pyramid Head's my main, so I, I play a lot of Pyramid Head. I definitely flood I took a few chases on this one that maybe I shouldn't have. Good hits though. In general. With basement being here, this is... I can't shoot through basement, so... She tried head on again. <laughs> so I kind of have to kill her out of the game. They stopped to heal at the hook and didn't move when I shot, so it's kind of their... their burden, you know? Yo, what's up, Rob? Yeah, we're trying to early streams. Hi, Jackson! Thank you for nine months! How are you doing? She does, yep, yep. Windows of Opportunity on Kate is essentially the same perk. Just for the other side. She went up that way. I heard Neo over here, actually. I thought. I thought I did. They still have to get three gens done. There's Fang in the corner. So we're in a good spot. If you get one kill, by the time you have two or three gens left, you're in a pretty decent spot. Ooh. How I missed that. She, she literally just had, like, put herself in a hallway. Oh, she went this way. There we go. All she has is this LT. Oh. If I don't know what she's going to do, I don't have to fire. It would be really dumb if I did. No Zenshin turns off. Uh, Zenshin turns off when you hit a survivor. So yeah, once you once you damage a survivor, do you have dead heart? You do not. Barbecue chili was decent. It is decent. What are you talking about? We're gonna live forever. Is really good. Why are we run Zenshin? Because I can run anything I want on Pyramid Head and still win. So why not? You know. I don't really need to stress right now. One person's on hook. One person's being chased. Only one person could conceivably be on Gens, and that's the Fang, and she's not on Gens. You know. Where'd she go to? Is she gonna go? <laughs> Sometimes they just do it to themselves. Now, if I were playing against like a tournament squad or something like that, I would definitely be running like a harder, you know, I'd be running like pop oppression corrupt or something like that. But the average solo queue experience, I don't lose this pyramid head. So I can run whatever I want you now. We're gonna live forever is a very good perk. 
Unhooking people, picking them up from being slugged or flashlight saving them gives you tokens. It gives you a lot of points. Like, it's very good. It's a very good perk. If you're not good at getting those altruistic plays, I could see where that would be, like, frustrating. But that's not a fault of the game. That's just you. The healing on someone in the downstate is kind of meh. It well, it's not 100% healing, though. You just have to pick them up. Oh, you're talking... Oh, oh, I'm, I'm talking about the condition to get the token. Because that's what the token is, right? If we're, if we're comparing, like, token perk to token perk, right? We're comparing... We're comparing, like, getting additional blood points, right? I have no problem getting the unhooks. I mean... I mean, barbecue and chili, you you don't have to do anything to get the token. You just play killer, basically. You just get hooks and you play killer and then you get the token, right? So we're going to live forever. Just by virtue of playing the game, you get tokens as well. So it, it, it quite honestly, by virtue of playing and doing things you should do, you get all the tokens, right? So I think, I think they both serve their purpose well. We're going to live forever used to be worse. It should have been more clear. Oh, yeah, you can't compare those, though. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it's hard. It's hard to compare them because it's you're comparing barbecue and chili, which you get by playing the game. To, I mean, I guess as a survivor, you never have to unhook somebody, but like you're also kind of being a shitter. You know what I mean? The problem with that is that like survivors can win a game and never use "We're gonna live forever" because the killer may not hook somebody. So like that is weird, but.